<laughs> Hello and welcome to Totally Oblivious. I am your host, Caleb Spooky Boy Perez, here with co-host Alex. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to redo that one. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. <laughs> I can't even do it. What? I can't do it. I can't do the intro. Guten Tag and welcome to this week's episode of Totally Oblivious. What is this, I am your host. <laughs> I am your host, Caleb the... <laughs> How did that end up worse than the first intro? That was so out of pocket, bro. Put that in the out of pocket Ooh. compilation. <laughs> I am here with God. You're just gonna <laughs> keep going with it. Oh my God, you're a mad lad. <laughs> yeah, I and you know what? I say some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? You're making noises I've never heard this before. This is supposed to be the spooky episode. <laughs> oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Caleb's tism kicked in. All right. Ugh. I'm Caleb. <laughs> I'm here with my co-host Alex because I'm the host and he's the co-host. Yes. Uh, this is our podcast. <laughs> this is the first time uh, watching this uh, or this channel in general. Caleb is usually not I'm so the fewer of the third I'm right. So c- <laughs> no, I'm the f- I am the fear of totally oblivious. Gosh, dead. <laughs> Weird. This is the least cordial I've ever been in an intro. Because you have that beard now. The, the beard makes me go crazy. Is that is that is that what's going on? It kind of does. I've noticed that every time I shave, I get a little bit less crazy. It, it's it's the uh, when you're clean shaven, you're more professional. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I'm a wild man wearing my bandana and my messy unkept hair. I'm not cutting it, by the way, until January. Why? I don't feel like it. Okay. We got a wild man Caleb here on the fucking yeah, set. I'm, fucking naked I'm, and afraid. I'm pr- I'm primitive primitive Caleb. Unga bunga. Unga. Uh, Alex, how are you? <laughs> I've read so much religious text over the past 12 hours for a video. I, you would be shocked how fucking hyper nerdy theology is. The, it, is theology the study of yes. religion? It should be. I think if I'm using the word correctly. Mm. But yeah, I've been. Uh, I guess for context, I'm gonna. I'm doing a video on on JoJo Jesus and uh, the implications of him being there within the the lore, and I had to go down a lot of uh, rabbit holes to figure out what certain things mean because unsurprisingly very similar to manga translations from 2000 years ago get very heated and contentious and i love going down the reddit or the reddit rabbit hole because it's just nerds pulling out biblical hebrew scriptures and i don't know how they get the hebrew text to work on reddit i'm just like okay that's Uh So yeah, I've been I've been doing that. I've been doing a lot of research about that. I want to try to get started recording tomorrow because I think I've I have everything I need, all the context. So that's what I've been basically doing. Uh, it's really funny looking into the parts of the internet you've never never found out, and you're just you're just you're just looking at it, and you're just like, hmm. So we're all just nerds that start yelling at each other at some point. Yeah, even here, pretty much. So it was funny. That's yeah. what I've been doing. Interesting thing is. You you lost me like in that middle part of what you were just saying because I was just so caught off guard the fact that I haven't heard the word theology in so long <laughs> like I don't even remember the probably seventh grade when we learned about all the medieval Catholic Church stuff that's probably the last time I heard that word I've I've been hearing it quite more often I don't know I get. I'm very into the whole history and theology part of the of the human race every once in a while. Mm. It comes and goes. It wanes and waxes with many things in my life. It wanes and waxes. It does. Sometimes it's... I don't know. It's just... I, I, get, the, I get the history bone for fucking random parts of history. And I go, damn, it's time. 
Dude, I don't know why I'm so giggly today. I don't know. You I, you started off real good with the Fuhrer. <laughs> the Fuhrer. Me over here. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been learning about religious texts. The complete opposite of that. The complete opposite of any of that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, it goes with today's topic. What the... F- <laughs> zoom in. Zo- the Zoom... What what are rock. we you you mentioned you're doing research on something? So, so what 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 are you doing? Yes. I guess maybe this is going to be a more Alex reactionary episode. Th- this is uh this is this is kind of our spooky uh spooky month episode. Mm-hmm. So I ca- I had this idea in my brain. Any more water before this? This, this was back during our uh, CIA episode that oh. this idea hit my brain. I was like, uh-huh. how? plausible was cod zombies like the nazi zombies is that why you asked me to play black ops th- or any version of black ops recently? no i just thought that'd be fun to play oh yeah we can do that you need to get steam and we can play black ops 3 zombies yes uh, apparently there's all supposed to be on game pass too but i'm gonna see if they're they made them cross platform. I don't, thi- I don't, I, I don't think, think so, so, but I'm gonna still try it because <laughs> if they did, that's literally amazing. But uh, we'll see. Yeah. But no, yeah, because the Nazis were up to some crazy stuff. Yeah. So I guess the Nazi pre- zombies. I feel in the way that I first thought, I was like, how plausible plausible it? was it that the nazis were trying to summon demons so i don't know how much you know about this so i feel like you might know a little oh, more than oh, i do no so like i said about this is so fucking weird to bring this up like i said previous i'm the if if my life can be summarized into a few things i do like it probably be anime and manga first second is history arguably tied with conspiratorial weird fact history and the whole theology thing is I always like dipping my toes into the all all religious baskets. It's fun. Mm-hmm. I learn I learn something new out of everything and, it, and it's interesting. But the fact that the it's the Nazis were so fucking cartoonishly evil. Dude, they that, were. That's what I, I've been thinking this whole time. No, they are cartoonishly because, evil. Because not not I think they genuinely started the whole stereotype with how villains are portrayed now with mm-hmm. the whole not only were they looking up occult things? They were looking up UFO things, religious items. The plot of Indiana Jones is not wrong. <laughs> it is literally we'll, we'll based get, in we'll fact. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. So it's yeah. I, I I know. I know. They were. I think at one point they 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 were interested in the Spear of Destiny and which one was. We'll real? get into that because we'll get the, into the that. Spear of Destiny was. Um, <laughs> we're getting into that. Hold on, you're spoiling. <laughs> I'm just giving random facts. I know. Okay, fine. I'll start reading. <laughs> I'll start reading my research, yeah, and then they, you can go on. They, they did a, clear, clearly. You already have a bank of information. I, ready I do. To go. Like this is this is this is almost my second bread and butter. Okay. They were weird, dude. They were Nazis were fucking insane. They 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 were weird. They they advanced medical technology by sacrificing six million lives. They did. It's and then, horrible. And then they uh did other things trying to figure out shit. It's it's really weird. Mm. I just realized that's why you brought up the fucking fury thing. <laughs> I just realized that. Did the whole d- Yeah, it just uh, clicked. It just uh, fucking clicked. I'm like, wait oh, a minute. Oh Alex. But no, yeah, uh going off what you said though, that that does make sense that the Nazis did kind of influence every modern villain. Because yeah. there's always like the scientific villain. Yeah. And then there's the dark magic villain. Yeah. Nazis did all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, they uh I think one of the what, what? political villain. That is true. Uh, like, like I've, I said in the past before, the Nazis were dripped out because they were, uh, their uniforms look nice. I don't condone what any of the Nazis did, so, but yeah, the yeah. uniforms look cool. But they, they, they were, they had Italian designers make their uniforms. They, I think it was Gucci. They literally went all out. Yeah, they're, they're literally the the basis for all villain organizations uh, past really World War Two. So it's just like. Knowing there are other parts of history, it makes sense. Anyway, we'll just, just to clarify, this is something that came up a lot during my research: is that none of what we're saying here or gonna say 
None of that should be intended to downplay any of the atrocities that the Nazis, Nazis actually were terrible. did. They were horrible, they, horrible. They did horrible things. I think, I don't think, so here's the thing I'd like to clarify because I think this goes with everything about humans. Mm. When you just spit out numbers, you don't actually realize what that actually means. Mm -hmm. Like six million people died. That's a pretty big one. Remember, you can't even imagine 50 people in your head. At least definitely not 50 people dying. Yes. So imagine six million. That's just, that, that, was that's, that just, was that just the Jews or was that included with, with war casualties? You know, I'm, well, that's definitely not war casualties. I'll tell you that. Yeah. But so do they count as a separate or no? The, the, I think the the people who died in the Holocaust are completely separate okay. from who so died yeah, in the war. It's like six million plus. There, there's a lot of people who died in the Holocaust. No. And to it's add on so the nuts. war, there's just is what World War Two brought upon the world. Awful, yeah. awful things. But it's a very interesting part of history to look into because yeah, just so much happened. It's there. this. It's what happened. That's probably why my interest is even in World War II so much is because just there's so much Fucking to dig shenanigans. into. Fucking shenanigans. All across the world, there's something going on. Dude, this, okay, this is so random, but I, I, I don't, I'll just say Nan King. I'm not going to say the whole atrocity. I randomly thought about that today. I'm like, hmm. I was like, wow, Japan's such a nice place. And then my, my brain brought up the, yeah. the, 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 R.I.P.E. of Nan King. I'm like, mm, never mind. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. World, World War II. Well, that's actually pre World War II. That's about a few years, and then it yeah. But J Japan. II. I think Japan. They still Arguably, continued their worst things. Oh yeah. There. Argue there. There is an actual a uh, debate if to say the what the, the Imperial uh, Japan was, was worse, worse than what Nazi because Germany in, did because they combat, did they were horrible deadly. things, horrible, awful. Oh. Terrible things. Yeah, the Imperial Japan was fucking nuts. Like they did it. They didn't even do it for any purpose other than they thought it was fun. Yeah, it was terrible. Like the Nazis had a goal. The Japanese, nah, they said fuck it. We're doing this for fun. They just make it better, but it yeah. also, I can see where the debate is. It's yeah. they're terrible. Anyways, and Italy was Italy wasn't that much better either. Doug. Oh my Holy gosh! The act, the 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 nickname, the axis of evil, <laughs> while <laughs> sounds funny, is not it's, wrong. It's accurate. That that's a Mussolini perfect description. Would, would kill bodies so the trains would run. If you hear anybody say, "I want I want the trains to run on time." Run from that person. I am not joking. Caleb, zoom in. If they say that, run. They are Yikes. terrible people. Yikes. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> our disclaimer out of the way. Disclaimer Let's out of go the way. into the Let's talk about the you're Nazis about to say. and the occult and see how plausible Nazi zombies were. <laughs> Jesus so Christ. according to professor nicholas goodrick clark who is the head center for this study of esotericism and i'm pretty sure i said that terricism how was it spelled esotericism i think yeah no, no. esoteric yeah you're right es esoteric yeah not, now that i say it out loud yeah that makes sense and uh exeter university mm -hmm. uh the occult and myths were central in nazism Yes. So, like their entire society was basically based yeah, around uh, so, the occult. So, my knowledge correctly, I don't think this was all of Hitler, but it was some of him. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of uh, a lot of philosophy and kind of batshit insane. Like, I guess back then it would can be considered neo, uh, but like neo, like paganism ideas and like not very christian at all oh ideas. no yeah we're gonna get into yeah, how so unchristian like, they were <laughs> yeah they were like this was all like made up bullshit that was i, I, I want to be this uh the guy that made the idea of the ubermensch the superman uh fuck oh my god i'm forgetting i'm blanking um fuck i have his face in my head you can Google uh, Ubermensch or the, the idea of the Superman, but like he just came up with the idea of like a model citizen and his, when he died, his sister took that idea to the Nazis and fucking ran with it. And it basically became super fascist when act in actuality, it was just probably like, we should all be, we to should be, be better people. people. 
portal became like no, fucking. Ooh, time to make this the worst, worst thing, thing ever. Edit is ever done. Oh my god! I don't have my phone. I couldn't fucking Google it. I have his face. He's the guy with Let's the see. comedically uh, long uh, mustache. The, the Uberman. Ooh, the Uberman. Oh my god! It's, it starts with an F. But like those ideals were like super prevalent in like Nazi Germany, and it's not fully Hitler's fault. But there were a lot of Nazis with some crazy ass ideas. So, since you have the lab, oh yeah, I forgot uh, you have the laptop. Frederick, oh my God, Nietzsche, uh, Nietzsche, that's Nietzsche? right. Yeah, Frederick Nietzsche. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know how to actually pronounce his last name properly. Frederick, yeah, uh, sp- yeah. Grandma, help. <laughs> but yeah, his ideas were like pretty prevalent in I guess Nazi Germany, but they were totally misconstrued. So like every other idea they had probably. If you actually look at back historically, probably wasn't bad to begin with, but they just completely like turned it. That, that's literally every part of Nazi Germany yeah. is that they took something that wasn't supposed to be taken and bad they and they it. completely flipped it. And historically, if you're not going off of all this occult stuff, historically, the true facts are they used all of that just to gain more power. Yeah, because it's such a good manipulating tactic it's, that they were able to use over it's, the it's, citizens. It's, it's how you, it's how I forgot that there's a specific phrase they use. It's like you, you introduced, if you want somebody to fall into your, into your herd, you, you goat them in and be like, yeah, it's look at these good ideas. This is good. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it's like the, it's like the basic, like you should be a good person. Everybody mm-hmm. agrees to that. Then you slowly ever so, you know, crank the water. A You're bit. like, oh, but what makes you a good person? Yeah, and then they, and then they, yeah, and then they just—it's <laughs> you it's, need to be white to be a good person. Yeah, and they just—they start manipulating it. It's how, if you look at all dictators and evil people, like evil people around the world, it's more or less that whole idea. <laughs> you should be a good person. This is how you be a good person. And then they slowly crank up the water while you're boiling in it until mm-hmm, it becomes mm-hmm. like completely fucking the wrong idea. That's how most occults form, by the way. Oh, yeah. Or cults form. I don't want to say it's and cults. That's why a lot of people say that Nazis were basically yeah. just a cult. Yeah. So here we go. Next point. Mm-hmm. Virtually all Nazi leaders seem to recognize the widespread popularity of the occult practices and border scientific thinking. Mm-hmm. Many still did advocate anti-occult policies, though. Uh, Nazi officials worked to create two separate occultist ideologies, which was se- sectarian occultism. And then there was also the accepted form, which was scientific occultism. Many Nazis and the German population in general truly believed in the occult and the Nazi party kept it as part of their ideology for its potential scientific value. Yeah, you know, checks out. So what's the what's the first what's the first word you use in that sentence? I've never heard that one. The sectarian What occultism. is that? What is sectarianism? So that's basically... The, the, what, from what I read, it's basically the, like, I guess, original idea of occultism, which is just like spirits and supernatural stuff. Uh huh. And they wanted to focus more on like turning that stuff into scientific. Oh, so they, they just, they, okay. So, so like rather than running on like beliefs in like gods and stuff, they basically they were, science. They were oh, trying to ba- they, base so they it all flipped, in science. They flipped it. Okay. And that's how, and you know what? In the modern age, so I think around World War II, if I am correctly, that's the point in history where the whole like religion being the main factor in a lot of people's lives were switching. Mm-hmm. So it totally makes sense, like historically speaking, instead of making the basis of all the occult things religious, you just flip it and make it science. Yeah, so it all it so that makes sense. Because in, in reality, they didn't want you to believe in gods and stuff. They wanted to be the gods in the eyes okay. of the people. Yeah. Fuck, that's crazy. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So here are some of the popular occult theories. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Here's the first one. Hitler was possessed by a demon. The idea came about from Hitler underlining a passage in the book Magic, History, Theory, and Practice in which... uh, is it is said he who does not carry demonic seeds within him will never give birth to a new world. Which is a very... I think that's very uh, suspicious of Hitler to underline that specific he he was really reading that book he highlighted he was, an expo. He, he was really reading that book and he's like he who doesn't he who does not carry demonic seeds within him will never give birth so, to the new world so okay wait mm, i am going to hold on to that one forever <laughs> for so so here's one thing i'm gonna and uh, i don't think a lot of people know this i didn't know this until probably like maybe like two or three years ago the fascist, the Nazi party existed before Hitler. Mm-hmm. So 
ideas like that where it's like, oh, you got to be a little bit fucking cray cray to, you know, go anywhere in life makes sense. So him finding that and eventually going down the pathway he did with that group now is a little a, a bit clearer because fuck, man, there is some there's some bonkers ass texts out there. Yeah. Like, Jesus, man, books are nuts. You people, get a crazy man behind a pen. People go crazy. crazy things. <laughs> Jesus. I, I tell you, man. Okay, keep right, going. Keep next going. one. There was an occult society based on Vril, which is a magical substance described in the that's book. In, that's, the in Cod, that's in Cod Zombies. Uh, <laughs> that's I think crazy. Wise. Uh, in this, there's a society of subterranean supernatural yep. beings yep. called the, the Vril Yaw, the- <laughs> capable of t- telepathy used to heal, destroy, or change their surroundings. In which... Here's something to even add on to this theory and the idea that things were going on all around the world during this time that literally one of the ideas behind like this uh, occult society Mm -hmm. is that there's just a secret uh, race of people that live in Antarctica and they're like the most powerful beings. So, okay. So my... My... Shockingly enough, my knowledge about the whole Antarctica thing is... Very, very Antarctica lore might could be its entire I own think, episode. I think we should actually do that. I, I think I'd like to. I'm already liking this episode so far. I think we need to do that separately because I always hear the Nazis in in Antarctica, but I always get like conflicting like theories and ideas behind that one because I mm. either hear like they were making aliens or finding aliens down there, and or they were doing experiments for something, and then I always sometimes hear a Gartha and the whole like inner uh, the hollow earth theory. Mm. So I get it's very confusing sometimes. So I don't. I, I, if you have more on it, I'd be fucking fascinated. I, I can't remember if I actually did do more on the Vrilya, mm-hmm. but I, I tried to stray away from too much into like there's so much ideologies shit, because like I don't want people to like I don't want to be preaching these crazy ideologies we do not people. support any of these like ideas, I, I'm, by just, the way. I'm just saying what these people believe i don't want to go too in depth on the like oh yeah they're this and this because I, I know there's some crazy people out there who will tune out everything except for the part of this is uh there's a god that lived on a cheese planet and then they're like wow that's real no <laughs> continuing on i have a joke but i'm not gonna say it <laughs> so uh there are thoughts that hitler and the thule society which was an occultist society uh-huh uh they worked together to secretly found a secret total totalitarian uh global government referred to as the new world order the thule society was a german occultist group founded shortly after world war one they are also said to have uh, been dismantled prior to the start of World War II, which uh, would be a little weird that they would be so in depth into Nazi Germany during World War II if they're already dis- dismantled. Uh, usually, sometimes the idea of dismant usually sometimes so so okay sometimes my English vocabulary is not at its one hundred percent of capacity right now. Uh, is that when you usually dismantle something like a group, is you mm-hmm. the f- the group usually reforms itself. So you could you could enter the conspiracy theory that that group just disbanded and then just got either absorbed or turned into like a bigger Nazi Germany idea. Mm-hmm. So that that could be one expl- explanation there. All right, and that oh I guess that yeah that that actually makes a lot more sense yeah. now that you put it like that. Okay, next theory: mm-hmm. uh, infamous occultist. Alistair Crowley made a deal with Hitler or that Hitler had been trained in mind control techniques to control the crowds of Germans so as wrong. he addressed them during his speeches, which I think basic uh, psychology proves that that wasn't the case. No, Alistair. Okay. So here's the thing. There's a massive misconception with Alistair in his early life. Batshit insane. Absolutely fucking crazy. Did sex rituals. Did a numerous amount of different drugs that you should not try. But after he married, he didn't marry, but he had a significant other. He had a child with and who helped him. And eventually later on, like, like in his elderly years, he was like, yeah, I was batshit insane. Don't, don't, don't trust whatever. I fucking A good say. woman will change anyone. Yeah, literally. I'm not joking. He got a good wife and had a son and come and fucking flipped one. He's like, 
Yeah, no. It was so like any time I hear people be like, Alistair Crowley was the evil man. No, he was yeah. not. That is just some blatantly misinformation. At the end of his life, he said, "Do not believe my yeah, old pe- shit." People say I crazy not things bad. in their early years. Yeah. So just he he actually regrets his most of his early life. So any any time you hear Alistair Crowley, take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. FYI. So that one, I'm just going to completely fucking. It, you, well, you, you can do that too, given the fact that uh, Hitler was a very good speaker yeah and he basically from what i learned is that hitler basically turned his political rallies into like basically like woodstock yeah concerts, concerts where like he to get the crowd so hyped up for his appearance that like he was basically what i said before him and the third reich were basically gods they were hype they, they were to be viewed as gods jesus christ which is in that's such an insane thing but also they were terrible people so of of course they would do that yeah all right here's here's the last theory which is a pretty big one is that hitler and the nazis were in possession of the spear of destiny Uh which is supposedly the spear that pierced jesus when he was crucified and is claimed to magically guarantee its wielder the victory victory in all their exploits uh and the downside is if you lose the lance you die so okay Knowing my theology correctly and how the whole thing works, I think that one actually stems from the Crusades. Gotta clarify that. But I think it's basically a whole bunch of like Middle Eastern mumbo jumbo. Mm-hmm. Basically, like it 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 doesn't make any sense. Like the whole idea behind Christianity is like God is not magical in any sense. Magic is inherently in the New Testament. I literally looked this up today. <laughs> is bad like mm-hmm. magic any all of that white ma- anything with the word magic is satanic in origin in christian belief so the spirit gaining some type of power because it pierced the son of christ makes literally bat shit no in insane sense it's theory. insane it's it's literally just really dumb and i think too is that the f- can't remember it's either italy i know the french probably had one I think somewhere in the Middle East, they somebody claimed to have it too. But there's been like people have said they all have the fucking spear of destiny. But mm-hmm. clearly, under the ideas of how it works, none of them are it. No <laughs> one's ever wielded it. So really that one's sh- just that one's just kind of stupid. There really shouldn't be a spear of destiny in the first place. Yeah, it makes no sense. All like the the what, what's the chalice called? Uh, I forgot what it's called. The Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. The spear of destiny. All the magical items Jesus willed. Bunch of mumbo jumbo. None of them are real. They can't be. They all. They all. They all. They conflict with 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 uh, religious doctrine it doesn't make any sense yeah so yeah, that makes sense but definitely with the with the nazis being like "Ooh, a, a spear that would guarantee victory definitely sounds like you know uh, uh that's a wild goose chase, chase. Yeah. that's something they chase yeah, they had something that wild goose chase speaking of that though we get to go on to uh the search and development for uh the wunderwaff or uh wunderwaffe or the uh wonder weapons it stops being good after round that- 20 Stops being good after round <laughs> yeah. I th- Unless you pack a punch, then that's pretty okay. Oh yeah, you got to pack a punch. But they, they, uh, the Nazis did a lot of time looking for the the Wunderwaffe. Yeah, no, they, they started. They they made a lot of weapons. They, they wanted those ray guns. They, yeah, they made a lot of fucking wacky shit. Like they made they yeah. made they they made the V two. I think the V two rocket. They ended up making a lot of uh, machine guns, tanks. Like they made a lot yeah. of, and the, the thing they is, they made a lot of. It, the thing, is, the thing is though, a lot of it didn't work, mm-hmm. and just most of it was just kind of like brought over to America yeah. for our development in the yeah. post-war and Cold War. Yeah, it was. They had they had numbers and they had pretty decent tech. Scientifically, they had they, their, their sciences were doing. Probably the only heavy lifting in yeah. Nazi Germany that was at all Volkswagen <laughs> beneficial to people. <laughs> I just remembered Volkswagen. <laughs> they fucking they made all their fucking automobiles, every single one. Uh, I just remembered that. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but that makes sense. It is. No, I remember. I always like those 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 videos where it's showing the logos. Like, look mm. at the logos, and the bottom is just like the creepy faces. Uh, Volkswagen in 1942. <laughs> it's like, oh my Ooh. god. Uh, anyway, keep going. Okay, so here's a big one that I stumbled upon of okay. their 
uh, scientifically made wonder weapons is uh, the I'm I'm gonna butcher this the 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 D D Glocke D Glocke or mm-hmm. uh, the bell which is uh, a oh. cult weapon that was thought to have existed. Uh, D Glocke was uh, described as a glowing rotating contraption that was rumored to have some kind of anti gravitational effect. Uh, be a time machine or part of an SS program for a flying saucer. According to uh, an author named Cook, the machine was bell-shaped, 12 feet high, and 9 feet in diameter. It had two high-speed counter-rotating cylinders filled with a purplish liquid metallic-looking substance that was supposedly uh, supposed to be uh, highly radioactive and was codenamed Zerum 525. It is said that scientists and technicians who worked on the bell and did not die of its effects were wiped out by the SS at the end of the war and the device was moved to an unknown location. Cook proposed that uh, SS official Hans Kamler uh, secretly uh, traded the technology to the U.S. military in exchange for his freedom. Uh, another author named Witkowski claimed to have discovered evidence of the existence of Diglocka in a review of World War II era documents that were declassified by the Polish government. Polish? Yes, because Germany loved nazi germany loved poland and they spent a lot of time there and the russians too poland was really like taking it from from the front and the back poor girly poor poland uh one document was an affidavit from the war crimes tribal tribal trial for uh general jacob sporenberg who supposedly confessed to ordering the murder of 60 people with knowledge of the secret project Witkowski claims Diglocka was organized under a division of the Waffen SS and operated mainly at facilities in Lower Silesia, with the machine being conceived in early 1942 and under active experimentation beginning mid 1944. Some claim Diglocka may still be located in a Nazi gold train that is buried in a tunnel beneath a mountain in Poland. So if you want to go on a quest for that, so That's where you want to look. Gold, a gold. So was, when I hear, I, I think I've heard of this story, but I haven't heard the end of that part. Oh, that's a new one to me. Mm. Uh, so they, the whole UFO Nazi thing is really a, like a big selling point yeah, for the, a lot of the, for a lot of the crazier conspiracies. A lot of basically a good majority of modern conspiracy theories about like aliens and stuff stem, stem from, from that, that idea that, they were working and, on and the fact UFOs. that they just they i don't know it was so weird how the nazis just started they then the moment they knew they were gonna fail all the high commanders either a killed themselves b killed themselves and others or just killed others mm. it's really weird how they all just at the moment of when facing death striped in red white and blue baby <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> eagle flying in front of the face they just all just instant they, without hesitation they fucking grab their thing charge the back pop every single one of them and it's and it's and they started burning documents to be honest i feel like in a different timeline we would probably know so much more shit if they just didn't start if, if they were burning and killing people off and honestly that's truly like the coward's way out yeah like there's you did horrible things all that time and yet you're you couldn't face judgment yeah when judgment was coming yeah and most of the most if not all of them are already like dying or dead mm-hmm. by now so it's just like it it really didn't end up mattering probably in the long run unless that canada fucking uh you know canada like congratulated a nazi soldier for like living or whatever i was on twitter for a while interesting Mudahar, <laughs> Mudahar got angry he's like <laughs> I was like, the fuck are we saluting him for? What, what, I mean, the full belief, you know, if, even if you did serve the Nazi party, I'm going to be, be looking at you a little bit differently. I'm well, it's not like they had the choice. Well, if you're... Uh, yeah, I know. The whole soldier thing was weird. But even then, are we ever going to get into the fact how they just all... Most of everybody in Nazi Germany just kind of almost surrendered to the whole thing at one point or another? Well, willingly that, and that, or that's willingly. More, that's more of a historical thing rather than an occult thing. Yeah, it's just like, it's they, they literally were just like a good majority were in support of that, but like at the same time, there were those who were like, "Well, this is just 
life now, and if I refuse, I die. So it's fucking. I guess Nazi I'd, Germany was. I, I'd, I'd rather live than die. Real. Yeah, so yeah, this is bonkers. It's very yeah. Nazi Germany, horrible <laughs> and, place. And, to and, live. and and if <sighs> even even my grandma tells me stories that it's just like man, it fucking they sucked. really just did not care about anybody other than themselves. <laughs> Like their citizens still lived like trash during the war. Like it didn't matter if you were a Nazi. If you if you were poor, you life still sucked. Hey, we're getting it from a primary source too. She lived during it. She did. She so, did. Her family was constantly starving. They had to steal potatoes from the fields to keep themselves. They. My grandma literally told me last time I visited her that her mom would go into fields to steal potatoes because all the potatoes were going straight towards the Nazi party mm -hmm. rather than feeding the citizens. Mm -hmm. And so since they're right next to a p potato field, they're just like, let's just sneak in the field at night and steal the food we need. They don't got cameras. And there are no cameras. We're getting it. So Stealing back in the day was so easy. It really was. I would, I would, I would wreck the U S economy <laughs> single handedly. You'd be like that guy who ate his wife out of home. Mm hmm. Literally, just that but America, man, but the country. <laughs> I would have, bro. It is it's, Alex? Stop! There's enough food to feed an entire nation. Stop eating. But I liked baked potatoes. But I need my midnight snack. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay, okay, keep going though. But I, I, in general, I do potatoes. believe the whole the whole UFO thing. But I've never heard them like hiding it away. That one's a new one. I've I've heard rumblings of that that. Because, like you said, during the end of the war, they were basically just like, everything we researched, burn it, burn it all. Kill them. Kill them. And then there's the people who are actually interested in science who are just like, oh, uh, you know. America, are you going to take me so I can do more research? Hmm. Our son, are you looking to serve America? As long as I can keep doing my science, I am, I'm, I'm on board. You're going to be working with Jews, though. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, that's just fine. That's fine. Anyways. <laughs> Literally how, how the Cold War went. They, they, I, I honestly think that, that that's the most like scientific mind thing to do is to not care about the politics of what's going on around you. And just keep doing You're it. You're literally only con concerned about getting your research okay. to continue. So that's basically the end of the scientific portion. That was okay. all I could find really was about the bell. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was interesting. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, I feel like COD Zombies also has a lot to do with I think that exact thing. If I don't know if exactly if I'm correct, but the uh, the teleporter is at least in in if you, I think there's pictures of the bell, like like schematics of it, what it's supposed to look like. I think it's they in COD Zombies they uh, they base the bell look for the teleporters in uh, well, every teleporter in all the games are all the same, except the ones on the floor. The ones that actually have the giant like bell on top of you. Mm -hmm. that, I think it's based off of that. Uh, if, if I'm correct, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, so. that's that's crazy though. Mm -hmm. That that that's one of the few conspiracies I'll definitely believe because I know they scientifically they were up to some insane things to try to win that war. Yeah, we literally went in an arms race during that war to see who could make the to, who who could throw a sun to end the war the fastest. God, that is such a fucking weird point in history, dude. That's insane, because Hitler was after a nukes. Uh, the Russians were after nukes. We were after nukes. Clearly, we won that race. I think we did. Uh, Atta boys. Poor Japan. Well, I, I say poor Japan. Poor the citizens in Japan. Yeah. But not, not the soldiers. Not the not not, for Nanking. Not the leaders. You might have deserved it that, for Nanking. That was... Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Woof. Anyways, let's go into their... Uh, more satanic rituals and yeah. this this is what i'm interested in stuff so uh going back to the nazi supposed vril society uh this society believed hitler was an all-powerful psychic medium with contact with powerful beings capable of creating a powerful a aryan nation hitler in the society would have been seen as the dark messiah which i'm gonna say right here why would you call your leader the dark messiah are you just Immediately, hold on, hold on. I can, I can answer. Evil. I, can, I can answer it. It sounds raw. That's why. That's probably why they did. But it. I mean, you're not even the good guys in your own eyes. <laughs> they probably did see it. As like, what? Why would you call? That's like. <laughs> that's one thing I always hate 
in like movies when the villain's like, time to reveal to you my evil plan. It's like, why do you call it evil? In, in your own eyes, it's evil? Then why are you doing it? Because I'm, I messed up. If you're, if you're, a, if you're supposed to be an evil genius, self-proclaimed evil genius, you're clearly stupid because what you're doing is evil. Why are you doing it then? If it brings no benefit, then why are I you like, doing it? I like how that's the part where you're ranting about, but I'm over here like, wait a minute. They thought he was a fucking psychic. <laughs> I like how that's the part you're not fucking like, huh? He was, we have historical evidence of what he did. He was a painter who failed, who failed college. Okay. I, I feel like, I feel like that's more like, uh, yeah, I, I can, I can see why they'd believe he was a psychic because like he was able to put such a hold over their beliefs and stuff. But them calling them the, the dark Messiah is them basically just saying, yeah, we're bad. We're terrible, horrible people. Like, are you that delusional? Yes. That's in, that's like, I, I like how you're trying to make a justification. Be like, are they idiots? Yes. Are they stupid? They were idiots. Yeah, they're stupid. They're idiots. Clearly. Clearly. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they were idiots. So according to Michael Fitzgerald, who's a historian, uh, this society was dedicated to evil. <laughs> Yeah, he said, he said real occultists worked in complete secrecy doing anything that would promote Aryan power. This ranged from straightforward political assassinations through uh, through to evoking the spirits of the dead, human sacrifice and summoning mysterious energies or real through sexual orgies. Fucking nailed it. Yep. That I they were just. So rant here on on occultism. So that's another thing I like. They I'm always right. do orgies. Yeah. So with the things I, I know in history, when it comes to the conspiracy parts, when it comes to like occults and their conspiracies and how things works, it is so fuck. Almost in every religion, including the big three, mm -hmm. there is this weird obsession with fucking sex. Yeah. And it's and it's I don't I don't know where it comes from. I might have to look into it deeper with like the proto like proto-european uh, religion or uh, like the the idea of like the earth mother and the sky father and that whole thing because it might mm -hmm. stem from that but there's this really really weird thing with sex it's either and it's no weird. have sex have all the sex yeah or it's like it's dark and evil but it's like it's it's beautiful it's, it's fucking weird it's really weird. And to go back to the fucking uh, uh, the Crowley thing, in his early life too, that was also pretty prevalent. It's almost in every occult. It, they're all sex cults. But they're all sex cults. You look at all of them, it's either the main guy trying to fuck everybody else's wife or making everybody fuck each other. It really is. Wait, you're 100% you're, you're right. Every cult I've even... Because I, I listen to a, a true crime slash they all paranormal podcast. And even the, the ones that stem from like Mormon beliefs, immediately like the guy claims that he's like, God came down and spoke to me and I yeah, am all the bitches. on the second coming of Christ. And everyone's like, yeah, you know what? Sure. We'll believe that. And then he's like, so I'm going to have sex with everyone's wife. What? Just because, and you can't stop me because I'm God. And then they're like, "Yeah, it checks out every time." Which I don't know. Every how, I don't know how every people time. Get, I, again, I don't know how people get that delusional. Like it at, is so, so at weird. one point, you think your own intuition would be like, "Yeah, I don't think I've read the book. I've I've read this book front and back. I don't think." God would uh, say, let this even, man have even, sex with my wife. Yeah, like looking at a Christian God, he didn't even put his metaphorical penis in Mary. He just snapped he his fingers. He didn't. It's like the least. He did the least amount of effort. The whole purpose behind sex is to do the motion. He didn't even do the motion. God didn't do that. And all, like literally the entire idea behind most Christian. creation myths, all creation myths, all the beginning is just either an egg no, like, or just someone snapping into existence. No, like what, what, I, what I'm saying is the idea behind most of Christianity, Christianity, Christianity is to be like, um, 
you have a wife, you have sex with her. Only. Only. Because that's kind of the, the right thing to do. That's the like entire point of falling in love and stuff is to have that one person. But uh, you're just doing whatever you want, I guess. And uh, nobody's questioning that because you claim you're God. Yeah, so in, in most, mo- if, of all the popular religions, all the ones that are modern day, mm-hmm. even stemming back to their oldest roots, they all have the basic idea of not to bang other people's wives and or do orgies. Every lesson that and the Jesus occult was the saying, complete opposite. every lesson Jesus said, he's like, hey man, listen, uh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of weird. That's, 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 God flooded the earth because of that. It's kind of it's kind of messed up. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. And then they're like, you know, what? Jesus might have said that, but I'm still gonna do it. But I'm gonna do it because this random dude says I should. I'm not gonna listen to Jesus anymore because because fucking- Jimbo says he sees people talking to him in his room at night. It's fucking, it's bonkers, bro. And it's just not Christianity. We're just, you know, we're, it's, just, we, we, it's all we, religions. We they know all more, just say, don't do that we, shit. We just know more about Christianity. Yeah, it's the primary source for all. But like all major ones all say, keep to one, dude. Just don't, don't do that. Just be a good person, please. It's so lustful, bro. Like, why? That's, no what, that's why I always just come to the conclusion that when people do this kind of stuff, it's because they're just mad and they want to do whatever they want. Real. That, go read the Bible. Go go read the Bible. <laughs> Several times. Y'all need Jesus. Big time. All right, and anyway. or other heavenly figures that have good intentions. Yes. Anyway, we're getting to the end of this. Okay. So uh, during the war, uh, Heinrich Himmler, which is one of Hitler's uh, main boys mm-hmm. up there in the Third Reich. Uh, his occult research bureau set out to find lost magical artifacts such Disney. as the Ark of the Covenant, yep. Holy Grail, yep. and Spear of Destiny, baby, yep. which is all things they look for in Indiana Jones, so Indiana Jones based in so, reality. So, okay. Crazy, so crazy. I, I did not know that until I watched those movies and then and, heard that that was something they actually did. And I know a little bit about the Covenant. The Covenant depending if you believe the uh, historical history and religious text history mm. was quote unquote real. Mm. It is either a lost to history B in a mountain C somewhere in a cave in the middle East. Those are the only three the spots. God took it. <laughs> that is th- that one kind of falls into it. Just kind of just disappeared. Uh, so yeah, there's a, that that one is interesting. I've always liked that See, one. The the thing with out of all of these, the the Ark of the Covenant is the only, only thing realistic one that has any significance in the Bible. Yeah, like the the Holy Grail was something that people just made, made up, up because he Destiny drank at, made up drank out of something. The Spear of Destiny was just I don't remember him getting stabbed with a spear when he got crucified. I, th- I think. Th- no, they do. They 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 only say a spear pierced them, but it's nothing of significance. Like they they literally this is like they basically wrote fanfics about yeah. the objects that were mentioned once in Jesus's life life. So it's it most of it stands for the Crusades. But You'd be the, shocked. The Ark of the Covenant was that one's definitely real, biblically, and most likely historically real. If yeah, you believe in any of that. So, which. Yeah, so and like the, that the the whole campaign in uh, Northern Africa, that that's why it exists probably. Looking for that, yeah, or, or at least also, like a subset idea. Of also, it. in Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, that's exactly oh, what they did. Hold on. And here's another thing too. So, if if I'm remembering correctly from my uh, my history knowledge of the my theology knowledge of the Bible, mm-hmm. only priests could like really be harness it or like be able to understand it and second it's a direct connection to god mm. so why would you think being hitler and the party being self-acknowledged evil people <laughs> from what from what caleb's told me yeah. why do you think contacting christian god would somehow give you the upper hand in winning the world I, motherfucker you just opened the door <laughs> to literal capital g-o-d my man's gonna be looking at you and be like I'm about to smite this man so hard when he opens his door. Dude, My man just spawn you, camping the door, dog. You, you putting it like that. It actually, makes no sense. It, but it actually makes sense to what happens in at because, the end of yeah, Raiders of the Lost, Lost Ark, Ark, where the, all of them just, just melt. 
Yeah. Or it's like God's like, man, I I hope I hope you find this. I hope he play, he's doing the fucking he he has a claymore at the door, dog. He really did. It's so dumb. He he literally has the little cheese on the mouse trap and he's waiting for the mice just, to show up. I just don't get the whole like when evil people want a certain like holy object, but the holy object and who controls it is clearly against you. Like, like I like I've been saying, they're, it, they're clearly just delusional at this point because I, they, nah. they contradict every single thing. If if you were like actually thinking at this God time, God was gonna help you because you got the cover. But like, if you're no if you're sense. a German citizen at this time, th- there's this is definitely the reason why a lot of them were underground already, just not working with the Nazis and trying to get the war to end, like. Any logical thinking person is like, they have made contradictions since the beginning of their reign. Yeah. What what on earth is going on? Fucking bonkers, dude. Like, how do you how do you make yourself out to a god? To who be doesn't a god? like you. Who doesn't like you? And you start killing the people who do like him. Yeah, you're it's and like oh fuck. I'm going back to the whole Christianity thing, but it's like the idea of Lucifer in general is just like all the bad things, mm-hmm. all of like the, the all the sins, all of it, the the uh, the seven deadly sins, the the things he does, killing all the ten commandments are clearly broken during Hitler's reign. It's like, yeah. dude, do you really think because you're white and and Aryan, it's gonna somehow Hitler save wasn't you? even Aryan? That's the craziest part. Oh, he man. wasn't Aryan. He <laughs> he looked like me, <laughs> dude. And he fucked his cousin. Did he really? Yeah, his girlfriend was his cousin. Burn, burn, dana, yeah, Google dana, that right dana, now. Dana, Double dana. check that. His girlfriend was his cousin. And in biblical scripture, I think it directly states, don't fucking do that. It was his cousin. Cousin or something. Um look up Hitler's you look, look up Hitler's girlfriend. It was swear to God it was his cousin. If I'm misremembering this, bro, I'm I'm calling Mandela effect. You might be getting it confused with uh, uh, FDR. His his wife was distant relative. That I did not know and or think FDR did. It's like, but that makes I sense. Think either like second removed or third removed. Well, if we're talking, it's removal, still weird. Yeah, it's weird, but it's. Legal. But it's it's uh, no, legal. No, he was definitely def- he was he was dating his cousin or something, or was it his niece? I can't remember. I'm not seeing anything. Look up. Did Hitler date his niece or date a family member? Did Hitler date a family? I swear member? to God. I swear there was pictures of it and everything. I saw people making fun of her too. She was like, she's ugly. I was like, damn hey, Twitter. I'm not seeing anything. Really? No. Fuck, I have to grab my phone or something. Maybe maybe Caleb and Post will find it. But like, like he was he was overall weird. I'm just gonna pretend that that's real because it, it makes, makes sense. It, it makes it funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler does belong so in Alabama. On, I gotta, You're right. you, you you keep saying hold on. Pause. I'm gonna grab my phone. I wanna know this now. Okay. I fucking I know I'm right here. Okay, keep keep going keep going with the text. I'm gonna find okay. this. I'll, I'll, I'm almost I'll be I'm almost done with this too. I'm all, I'm all that. I'm all so um, uh, there were plans for a new religious city centered around the Wellesburg Castle that would become an occult Vatican dedicated to do all things evil. <laughs> what? <laughs> Self proclaimed. They're like, this is our evil layer. Oh, sorry. I mean, this is our evil layer. Uh, we will do all things evil here. Uh, the colleges here would educate future German leaders in the occult, such as uh, psychic mediumship, hypnosis, and uh, divination. I think divination and uh, museums would house the mystical artifacts, such as the Ark and the Holy Grail. Uh, one thing I actually did skip over real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, they made other efforts uh, put into paranormal phenomena such as ESP, uh, psychokinesis, water divining, astrology, and black magic. What? Yeah. That's the, fucking nuts. The, the Nazis were, uh, they were essentially rock girls. 
All of them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they were radical rock girls. <laughs> Put that as the thumbnail. Nazis were radical rock <laughs> girls. Dude, it's it's so funny looking at their history and just being how fucking nuts they were. Mm -hmm. Like straight up, it's not even like it's not even funny how fucking stupid it gets. Mm -hmm. Cause at like one point you're like, holy fuck, they actually believe this. This isn't some like 14 year old girl who eventually probably post after college will be like, yeah, I was a bit weird. No, these were like 60 year old men who and like 30 year olds. This. And they were just like, mm hmm, this is real. Yeah, that's real because I say so. And just to add on to that, this is my last little tidbit. Uh, Himmler, Hitler's boy right there. Himmler, the uh, doctor of death, right? Doctor of death, Himmler. Uh, during a ritual to honor the 1,000th anniversary of the death of King Heinrich the Fowler at the uh, Quell Quedlinburg Cathedral, he made a vow to the king to continue his legacy and conquer the East, which not like Asia East, but like the Slavic lands. Uh -huh. um, a year later, he decided to have the bones of the king uh, carried into the cathedral to then become a sacred German site of pil pilgrimage, where it was then shut down to all Christian worship and turned into an SS shrine. In this, he made attempts to replace Christianity with Aryan religions and revive the old German gods. This cathedral was then used to further, uh, for further rituals, and Himmler himself is said to have held midnight seances in the cathedral to put himself in contact with the spirit of Heinrich the Fowler for political advice. So it, what it sounds like to me is Himmler was the most deranged out of all of them. Himmler? Oh, no, Himmler was definitely like, He was insane, literally calling up the dead to be like, hey, man, um, I need some help. Can you give me some advice? Can you, can you, can you DM me the, the lore real quick, bro? Hey, um, <laughs> King Heinrich, I know I just moved your bones, but uh, Hitler's asking me uh, which front we should focus on, and I'm not quite sure. I just want to work on making a time machine. Uh... What do you think I should do? It's so stupid. That, like, he and he genuinely believed he, that he was talking to this king. Most. What, what the fuck were you going to get from a. You know, okay. Well, apparently, according to the, the Nazi ideology, is this king was apparently like the greatest ruler of all time. What were they fucking talking to King Charlemagne? Uh, apparently. <sighs> fucking France. No, so how? Why were you gonna contact? What was it? The fucking who was the who was the guy with three hundred wives in the Bible? I forgot. I don't. Oh I my don't God. know. I forgot his name. But like, I don't, bro. Fuck me, dude. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't get them. They Alex, were so weird. Alex is truly left baffled after this. No, episode. and also I Google this too. So Ava Braun. Eva Braun I don't know, was mm. not related to him. Apparently, okay. I was wrong. But apparently, she was super su suicidal. Uh, so I figured out that she uh, she tried to uh, offer herself about eleven or uh, ten or eleven times before dating Hitler. That's crazy. That was that's just. I kind of want to keep looking down more of this rabbit hole of Ava Braun, but there's, Jesus, there's, man. this whole thing was just a huge rabbit hole. There's so many offshoots that you could look into i didn't want to because i don't want to drive myself insane with their own their insanity yeah. but what we can end off on is the question was or were call of duty nazi zombies plausible which i think with the amount of insane things that the nazis did a hundred percent that would be a plausible thing that they no i th i think in one way or another whether through the scientific things they were doing or the demonic activities i think they probably could have if any of this is I, real they could I, have made I, maybe I have zombies up but 
Oh my God, she was trying to kill herself even more. I just kind of glanced at that, but I wanted to Google something else. Uh, the the Blitzkrieg, the the soldiers with all the fucking uh heroin. Was it mm-hmm. heroin? Oh yeah, yeah. I think or whatever. Uh, it was, that, it was, that, a drug. was <laughs> that was initially what inspired the Nazi zombie thing, where it's just all like, you know, you just have these fucking soldiers fucking gassed up on fucking crazy ass drugs. They got mm-hmm. the heroin strength. So it's just like I think that's what partially inspired the idea of to try to do Nazi zombies because they like it, it, let's be honest, a zombie and a heroin addict don't look that fucking different. Sometimes, sometimes. So they were not. kind of real, but they really weren't. But like in in reality, drugs truly do people do turn people into yeah. zombies. Like it, it, it's it's very. And I'm bad. shocked. I'm shocked throughout none of that research you found out if they ever did fucking like hardcore drugs. Because for me, yeah, you just, know, that's a good point. Because they all just, it just looked like they were just coming up with ideas. I guess the the, the occult and the they're they're just deciding to put drugs into their soldiers, or, or I guess com- two completely different departments. Apparently, like, fucking we got the occult department and the war department over here, and the war department's like, hmm, they're doing all this research on demons. But I got drugs. We could see them. Let's <laughs> let's do it, boys. Jesus Christ! No, Nazi history is so fascinating. I wow! I thought I thought Ava Braun was actually his cousin. Apparently not, bro. Apparently not. Wow, bro, she's so. Also, they met because of a friend of a friend who actually did end up committing suicide. Wow. So I think I think that's what I read. That's right? a lot of uh, people offing themselves in that circle. God, dude, the Nazi Nazi lore is nuts. It is. I like. I'm just reading that, and it's just like, God, I don't want to say this, but it's not wrong. It's like Hitler is like one of those like he could have been saved, but he just went down the darker path because you look at his history. His mom abused. His dad abused him. All his siblings either were mean to him and or died at an early age. His half niece committed suicide. His girlfriend's over here committing suicide. Uh, a 10 to 11 times before uh, the early stages of the war or around uh, World War One, because uh, it happened in uh, 1932. So it's just like, no, after World War One, so it's in, the, it's in between the phases. So it's just like, Jesus Christ, no fucking wonder he went into the occult. My man had, had a rougher life than anybody I've ever known. So like in a weird sense, there's almost this like sympathy of, man, I feel bad for you, but mm-hmm. fuck you were an asshole. <laughs> You know, that almost adds credence to the uh, idea that Hitler was possessed by a demon. Because they say, if you're, like, truly at your lowest, lowest point. point, like, in your soul, that's when a demon is going to be able... If you're not going to fight against the darkness inside you, that's when a demon can attach itself. That's fucking nuts. So... I guess that Hitler could have been possessed by a demon that whole time. Who, who knows? Who knows? I, he did a lot of atrocious things. The, the under his leadership, a lot of demonic things happened. And you know what? I even have to say this. Maybe even Hitler didn't even know about all of it. He Maybe might he just, not have. He probably just went, mm-hmm. and then everybody just assumed, yeah, fuck it, we can do anything we that, want. That, that's another thing is he in. All honesty might not have been the worst person out of their party. I, I, Himmler Himmler, def- I think Himmler, Himmler was worse. definitely showed he did not value anyone's life. I genuinely think Himmler gaslit Hitler into most ideas. He swear probably to God. did. I swear he had that, to. That's the <laughs> he was just like he's like, dude, what if we did this? And Hitler was probably like, is behind. I was like, I, we, we can do it, but like, why though? He's behind fucking, every behind every evil leader. There's always a the, gayer, uh, there's, eviler man. <laughs> the gayer, eviler man. You think Himmler was secretly gay? Hey, I want you to know this. Hold on. Hold on. I. This is not, not good for the historical part of this uh, thing. Let me hold on. Let me, let me go back a few pages. The se- I'm gonna. This is off of Wikipedia, by the way. Mm-hmm. The, sexu- the sexuality of Hitler, of Adolf Hitler, the dictator of Germany from 1933 to 1945, has been long been a matter of historical and scholarly debate, as well as speculation and rumor. There is evidence that he had a relationship with a number of women during his lifetime, as well as evidence of his empath- empathy to homosexuality, and no evidence of homosexuality encounters. So there's this. There might be an idea out here. He might have been, but might have not been. Wait, but they killed gay people in Nazi Germany. But that's the thing, Caleb. 
You get Hitler really? wanted to be the only you gay. gay. For, Hitler it, was that fruity. He wanted to be the only gay man. That's, that, that's how blackmail stuff. You know uh, the whole I mentioned in pre- previous podcasts the whole like cabal idea. You just bring people into blackmail. So, so what you're like, what you're saying is all those people out there who believe the Nazi who worship Nazis currently are worshiping a bunch of fruity men. Probably fruity men. They there's no way they didn't do it. Because with a lot of those closeted cases, they get into really high positions of power, and then they get fruity. Do you know what? That's that's very true. Like, don't maybe not Hitler. I I argue Hitler probably wasn't gay, but a lot of those subordinates. Oh yeah, they probably they probably had a fun time torturing uh, people of the same sex. Guaranteed. There's no way. Well, it's like what you said though. Behind every evil man is is a eviler. Hitler. Man. Oh no. Hitler. H- Hitler, Hitler was definitely fruity. definitely was probably fruity. There's no. There's I, no way. I guarantee you. He at least had at least one or two gay thoughts. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. What if they were all gay thoughts? Just tries my point further. <laughs> Swear Himmler had to be gay. Himmler was gay confirmed. Had to be. A totally oblivious lore has crazy. Has, we outed Himmler. He had to be, bro. There was something. Yeah. Taylor was not something gay. Himmler terrible. definitely was. I feel like it. There's no evidence backing that up. I just I have a feeling. So there you go, all you neo Nazis. You're worshiping gay men. Yeah, probably. How, how ironic for all yeah. of you. Yeah. Just also, if you're watching this podcast, what are you doing here? All we do is make fun of you. Yeah. What the fuck? Why I are you, you here? We hate you. We literally hate your guts. Why are you here? Leave. I don't want you here. Yeah. There's a. There's. I. Don't, I want to end it off on this. Is there? There's mm. this common theme within at least the modern like ideas of of Nazism. It's just like. They're all just depressed and lonely men that just somehow, I don't know fucking how it happens, but they always go down the occult rabbit hole. It happens every single time. Anytime I see like crazy, a crazy 4chan thread or a crazy Reddit thread, a really dark Reddit thread, it always ends in fucking weird guys who have nothing in their lives to live for going down occultism. I don't understand why. Every fucking time. They just oh. end up having bad lives and the they don't and I don't get me wrong. I think if you're having a really bad time in life, maybe you should go down the Christian, you know, route and just, you know, try hey, to find God, try hey, to find more meaning in life. Don't go down the fucking occult rabbit hole of maybe, demons, maybe, monsters, maybe the, and all the wrong things. Maybe take the good side rather than the one yeah. that's clearly bad. Like, you know, I have my I have my problems with religion. I really do mm. with the whole like the the Catholic Church and how in the past they were kind of scummy people, the Crusades. They're, the history of, of Christianity is a bit skewed. But the yeah. Bible in a vacuum in and it of itself is not entirely bad. If you s- squeeze it down to its most basic ideas, it's a good book about morals. About, learn, about morals and learning how to be a better person. Read the fucking Bible if you're having a bad time. Just read the Bible or the Quran or anything of all the major religions around the world. It just... Find something that brings good into yeah. your heart. And I get it. Like, you'll, you'll probably reach the darkest point of your life and you feel like you can never do anything with it. You have to, you, you have to want something. You can't mm-hmm. just give up. That's the, that's the main problem here where, where, where I think Hitler went down the wrong path is that he just, he, he saw college. He, he didn't flunk out. Right. Or did he, I can't I don't think he flunked out. He, well, uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did flunk out. But Hitler, it, Hitler, <laughs> historically was not smart. Wrote with a uh, seventh grade reading level. Did he actually? Yeah. No fucking way, bro. He read at a seventh grade level. Yeah. I actually have to test out my reading level. It's been like, a while. His his reading level was incredibly low. Like or literacy. Yeah. Level was. Like stunningly low for somebody in such high Man, power. I'm, dude, I'm trying. I'm trying to be the. I'm trying to play devil's advocate and be like, dude, just go work at like a construction job or something. Like, at least have at least get something that pays well. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking know, dude. There's there's no way. Holy fuck! I'm just realizing this. Post World War One Germany, they need reconstruction. Why are you not in like? There has to be a job out there post World War One that could that could feed yourself or leave the country. Yeah. Like there's, I, I don't think college debt back then was too bad. Dude, that's a whole other episode we can do. The fact that college 
was free until the 60s. I, it was entirely free until they made it so segregation was gone out of colleges. And then they brought... They money. made it so it wasn't free anymore so that minorities could no longer go I, to college. I, I, I really, I don't. That's crazy. Fuck, dude. Everything it's, sucks in this world. I'm trying, I'm really trying to just give him the benefit of the doubt because I'm a nice guy. But you dude, can't. he had literally every opportunity. Like a seventh grade reading level is bad, but it's fucking half decent enough. Like you can read like a blueprint and fucking, I don't know, make a house or something. Mm -hmm. And fuck, dude, you suck. I'm like you're terrible, bro. There's no sympathy for the devil. I can't, bro. You and even can't. yeah, even with the devil, you let your pride take a hold of you. You could have just swallowed it and <laughs> be like, "Fuck it, I'll follow God." You can't give him sympathy because he's literally just fighting a fight that he, he can't even win. I know he. Even... It's written in stone. He can't win this fight. Fuck, dude. They're all dummies. All 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 dictators and evil people are just dumbasses. At the end of the day, they all don't make none of them make sense. They're so dumb. They're just idiots. They're so blinded by their own pride that. That they are literally I, stupid. I, I I just oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> he could have he literally could have just worked at a bakery or 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 just leave the country and work in a bakery or be a farmer or fucking do something, dude. I understand that your life fucking sucked ass, your parents were terrible, everybody in life was committing suicide, but maybe if you fucking got a clue and to like logically just be like, hmm, I should strive better for myself. Like that didn't fucking show up in your fucking head? Really? Really? Come the fuck on, dude. dude Holy I shit. I never thought that this year's spooky episode would turn into Caleb giggling and Alex giving a parental rant at Hitler. Like, dude, I know the whole idea. There's a pretty negative connotation with like picking yourself up by the bootstraps, at least mm. nowadays. But because of like, I don't know, there's, there's, there's weird moral things behind it nowadays. It's like a, a pretty, um, uh, I forgot what the patriot uh, was patriarchal, right? Mm -hmm. Patriarchal idea behind it. There's a little bit of negative connotation about it, but like it's post World War One Germany. I think the idea of picking of anybody picking them up up themselves with their bootstraps makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, you fought in World War One. You have a sol You're a soldier already. Could have fucking died in that fucking trench. There's that one really? too we missed. Dude, that's true. You think you got feel spared. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just remembering that, dude. You got spared and you fucking still chose the. He got spared and still chose the fucking evil route. I don't get it. Holy fuck. It, it, I guess Holy that's just the idea shit. that some people will be given everything in the world and still I want more. Fuck, dude. I just... Oh, my God, dude. I'm like, I'm having a massive epiphany. Holy shit. Hitler was just not a bad person. He, he was, was a just a dumb person. person. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Wow. Oh. You were spared. There was a gun pointed it's at your dome, and the guy said, fuck it. I'm not going to kill you because I don't want... The, the the post PA the PS fucking the trauma PTSD. the fucking trauma Alex Kevin get his words out he's so I angry. know the last podcast you said Alex you should let your let your mouth your brain slow down I can't slow down dude you're the, fucking you're stupid so angry at, at, at honestly yeah rightfully so all of these people it, it, we okay, I, every person oh that God. we talked about today in that Nazi party all stupid all dumb completely every single one of them. wasted their entire life on becoming notoriously i'd argue awful joseph human stalin beings. was smarter at least he he came from something and then stole the party strategically i'd, I'd argue that he still killed a whole bunch of people garbage human being T terrible man but mm -hmm. at least he had the the idea of just to r take the party and run for it fuck for himself so he can just be in total power. Hitler, though, had every opportunity to be a good dude at, at least, and still fucked it at up. At least the USSR lasted. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Good Fuck. gosh. God, dude. I'm so... I'm so... Oh, my God, bro. They're all dumb. Every the, dictator in history is just a fucking idiot. Holy shit. That, I think that's the best lesson to take from oh today's my episode. Even if you're in a dark place in your life, you you can find there is an there is an answer to every solution. I'm begging you, Please. there is an answer to every solution. Okay, just work a little bit harder. I'm not asking for five percent 
or or or, or uh, an astronomical number of more effort. Just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit more just effort. Try. Just try. Just try. For at least the people that you care about, try. Yeah. <laughs> like, you had a suicidal girlfriend. Did it not fucking come into your head? This girl's being nice to me. Maybe I should at least try to lift them up her spirits. And you go down the fucking arrow. I can't even fucking pronounce words right now. I'm so pissed. All oh, right. I think that shit. I think that's a sign to end the episode. Fuck, dude, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. I can't explain it anymore, bro. He had every opportunity to be, to be at least a half decent human being. And he just ended up being the, the, the literally right next to fucking Satan himself in the history books. I... I'm done. In, in both evil and stupid. Holy fuck, dude. Thank you all so much for watching or listening or doing neither to this week's episode. I don't get it. Bro. Uh, be sure to tune in for next week. Continuing on with spooky month. Who are we doing next week? Uh, I'll let you know next week. Okay. <laughs> when we, re- when we re- record the episode. So uh, just remember all of you out there. If you enjoyed this episode or any episode prior and any episode after, like, comment, subscribe, share the podcast. That's very important. Uh, Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. So until next time, peace out. Deuces.